Hello everyone, today I will be discussing the love between Heloise and Abelard. The two were madly in love with one another. Their love was filled with passion and romance, secrets, and overall a great deal of sacrifice. The two had to sacrifice a lot just to be with each other. Beginning with Heloise was significantly younger than Abelard, and that could really put slander on his name. The two constituted their love by having a child, which in some senses would proclaim Heloise as being a quote-unquote whore. Her functions consisted of being a single woman for the child, having no male figure to be the father, and it really did put slander on her name, which then resulted in her becoming a nun in her later years. As for Abelard, he felt so passionately in love with her, he was ready to marry her, but Heloise said no. She felt that the restriction of marriage would basically prevent him from doing the best work that he can, and it would sacrifice his name, which is not what she wanted at all. Being a whore in that time was constituted as someone who sleeps around, has many other partners, and in this case, just like Eloise, having a child and having to bear that child with no father. Being a wife, on the other hand, is someone who cherishes their husband, only has time for their child, and someone that will do anything to keep their husband's name rich. Which, in a certain sense, Heloise was both. Yes, she was a whore. In fact, that she had premarital sex, she had feelings for a man that she wasn't married to, but she also did everything to keep his name and his life so pure, and, and it was a sacred thing for her. I feel that in a sense, this is definitely true love coming through, and in a bigger sense, it's unconditional love, because these two were ready to give up everything that they had worked for and everything that everybody thought that they were to be together, regardless of what anyone else thought. Slander was thrown on both of their names, and unfortunately, Aberland had to suffer a major loss and had to fall in the realm of becoming a monk. While, Al while Heloise was now becoming a nun. Right here, this is where their love should have ended and they should have went their own separate ways and tried to rebuild their name as singles and they should have called it quits with each other. But in the state of love, they couldn't. This is when their secret letters began and this is when things really started to take a turn because although they were separate and they now had two different entities and that child that they bared was now left behind, it didn't matter to either one. The only thing that mattered was the love that they had for each other. They began writing letters and Eloise would say that she was a hypocrite because no matter like even when she was in church, she would think of all the things she had done with um, Abelard and when Abelard was on his own all he could do was think of Heloise and I really think that this is the stereotype from back then that you had to be straight as an arrow um, for the woman you had to be pure and innocent and you had to just wait for your husband and on the other hand the man had to get the fame and the wealth and then find a woman to marry and constitute the marriage with a child and then go on and live together happily. Well, for these two, they did not follow that rule at all. They did not follow that path. And I think this is where true love comes in. And I think the idea of whore and wife, um, the duality between the both, I believe that Heloise kind of stands so at somewhere of like a happy medium between the two. Like I mentioned previously, yes, she was a whore, but she also did wifely duties to protect Abelard. She made sure that his name was not slandered so that he could have a great um, stance in society and that so his works wouldn't be messed up. So she sacrificed and did have wifely thoughts and obligations that she needed to do to protect 
Abelard, but on the other hand, I would say I don't know how great Abelard felt about Eloise in the sense that he sent her off to become a nun. Some may think that it was to protect her and that it was the best thing for her, but then others play the role of, well, he did that to get respect on his name and to better himself and just forget about her. But between the two, I could say that this is kind of a hard thing to fathom ideas about because he did love her and they did continue their love through letters. So why did he send her off? Was it really to protect her or was it to better himself? And this is where my idea again of unconditional love comes in. I do believe that he was saving her and he was protecting her from the harshness of the cruel world around them. And that's why their love continued in those letters. Their letters were a resemblance of love that they unfortunately could not express to each other when they were connected and when they were together. They were torn apart and the only thing they had left of their love was those letters. And now, as in 2022, when we go back and we're reading all of this and we're watching historical videos on it, you can see that their love was never severed like they were. They, as two people, were severed and had to go their own ways, but their love was still connected and binded as one. They, for God's sake, they gave up their own child to have better lives, but those love letters definitely show the true connection that they had.